Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be working on a chain. And uh, we can make it the easy way and just make an ellipse. And it'll be a little bit ugly, but I'm going to take the hard way and make it look a little bit better. So what we need to do is remove that ellipse and ellipse. <laughs> and get a rectangle. And make it rectangular, obviously. And uh, what we could do as well here is to lock it into place. And then use circles to make our edges but I'm gonna go ahead and use a spline instead because I don't wanna waste my time doing the tangents. All right, but uh, one thing to note is that after the update with the splines, now you can't really make the same one. Now you have to kind of move it off to the side a little bit. And you'll see here, as I'm drawing, I'm gonna move one off the center just so I can get it done. And then after that, I'm gonna move it into place. All right, so let's move on from that. We don't need those no longer, so we can trim them down. And uh, once we have that, we just need to sketch another circle in the center of the, of the left or right side, doesn't matter. And uh, we need to rotate that 90 degrees because what we're going to do is sweep that uh, circle along the path. So 90 degrees, and then we choose the sweep tool. Click next and then choose the lines and let's continue that all the way around. Click done and uh, usually just like to see what I'm working on. And so let's go ahead and make it look like a piece of metal like it should. I'm just going to go ahead and choose iron because it's close enough to the how I want it to look. And the rough iron. And then let's just make sure that we change the scale to make it look better. That way that looks like steel ones now. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and go back and what we need to do is hide all the sketches. They're no longer needed We just need to go ahead and duplicate that so we move that to the side and Then we rotate it 90 degrees to make it look like a chain and then After that we just simply need to make a chain link By creating multiples of this so what we do is just select both of them to make it to make it go by faster than doing it one at a time and then just do some basic math in your head as you go along. So 32, then 64, etc. And we will have our chain link. And then what we're going to do in the end after we finish doing this is just visualize it so we can see our finished product. And then you'll know you have a good chain and you know how to make one. And uh, I hope you guys find this useful for your projects. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye bye.